So this pastime is so much mysterious. When Madhvacharya made his commentary on the Bhagavatam, he did not include this chapter. He thought Brahma is a Ani Guru, the original Guru of our Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. Therefore, how he could become bewildered? If a Madhvacharya considered these two chapters, killing of Agasura and Brahma's prayers to Krishna, he considered these must have been interpolated, added. He could not reconcile the fact that Brahma can be bewildered. But Jiva Goswami said, no, these two chapters are not interpolated. Otherwise, why he gave his commentary on them? Then we said that Brahma is bewildered by Bhagavan's yoga maya. Even Brahma is, even Balaram is bewildered by Krishna's yoga maya. What to speak of Lord Brahma? Therefore, Lord Brahmaji's position is very much interesting. He is considered to be an incarnation of Bhagavan also. Of six types of incarnation, one is Gunavata. Therefore, Brahma is considered to be non different than the Supreme Lord. In some aspects, he is considered to be in a higher position even than Lord Shiva because he created Lord Shiva. <laughs> it said that when he ordered the four Kumaras to marry, the four Kumaras refused. Therefore, Brahma became very angry. As he was angry, then from between his eyebrows manifested Rudra, anger personified. If there's only one order of the Guru you can disobey, that if the Guru orders you to marry, then you don't have to follow that instruction. Everything else you have to follow. Therefore, he is a qualitative incarnation of the Supreme Lord. He is Gunavatar. In one sense, you can also think he is a Shakti Veshavatar, because he is empowered by the Lord's Shristi Shakti, his potency to create. He is also be considered a pure Vaishnav, otherwise how can be head of our Brahma Madhva Gaudi Sampradaya? On the other hand, he is also considered to be the controlling deity of Rajagun, the mode of passion. Therefore many things are inside him. Therefore how to reconcile? Prabhupada said as a demigod we reject him. He said like Lord Shiva, as a demigod we reject him, but as a Vaishnav we Worshipped him. Therefore, Brahma Mohan Lila, very interesting. We know in the beginning of creation, the Gabaraksai Vishnu, from his navel sprang a lotus. And that lotus was Lord Brahma. Therefore, Brahma not only is the first embodied soul, he's also considered to be the direct son of the Lord. If I was reading yesterday, Prithu Maharaj, he offered prayers to Lord Narayan, Oh, I want to also massage the feet like Lakshmi does, but I'm afraid there may be some competition. Lakshmi may not be very happy that I'm intruding on her seva. But Lord, I know that you are Patip, you are Dina Bandhu. If I know you'll take my side over Lakshmi's because you are Akaram, you don't even need Lakshmi. Not only a woman needs a husband to produce a child, but Lord Narayan showed I am self-satisfied because he produced a child without a wife. <laughs> Therefore he is also the son of Lord Narayan also. In the beginning of creation, he said Brahmaji was sitting on top of his lotus flower. He was trying to think, where have I come from? What is my duty? He saw that lotus flower and he entered into the lotus flower. For millions of celestial lilies, he tried to find the source of that lotus flower. But to show the Supreme Lord cannot be achieved by one's own endeavor, he failed. Therefore he was thinking, if I cannot find the source of this lotus flower by my own efforts, where have I come from? He heard a voice, Tapa. Tapa means perform austerities. Therefore Brahma thought, who has spoken those words, Tapa, I will find him. Is that the same as Tapa mystery? <laughs> Tapa is a person. I know, but is the, if the words are similar, does it Tapa have a also sense? means son. Tapa Son? Son. So, who has spoken those words, Tapa? He's giving me instruction, therefore, he must be my guru. Therefore, for thousands, 
in our, in our time, millions of years. But for thousands of years that the demigods, Lord Brahma, sat in meditation, then the Supreme Lord manifested in his heart, Lord Narayan. Lord Narayan spoke four verses to him. They are considered to be the seed of the Veda. Therefore Brahma gave those four seed verses of the Bhagavatam to his disciple Narad. Narad gave them to Vyasadev. And by being blessed by Narad, the, how do you say, the unfolding of those four verses is the 18,000 verse Srimad Bhagavatam. Therefore in the beginning of creation, Lord Brahma first saw Lord Narayan, then he saw Krishna in Vrindavan. He was so much ecstatic seeing Krishna that he spoke the 100 chapter Brahma Samhita. Therefore, when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to South India, two books he brought back with him. One was Brahma Samhita, the other one was Sri Krishna Karanamrita. Mm -hmm. Mahaprabhu could not find the other 99 chapters, therefore, just the fifth chapter he took, and that is the very famous Brahma Samhita. <coughs> All our Gaudiya Siddhanta is contained in that fifth chapter. Therefore, Brahmaji's position is very much extraordinary. He is the guru even of great personalities like the four Kumaras, even of Narad Muni. Therefore, he is most exalted Vaishnava. Therefore, Brahma is not just a person. Brahma is a position. Therefore, it said that same Brahma became bewildered seeing Krishna. One time I wrote an email to Gurudev. Is that the same Brahma that saw at the creation, at the beginning of the creation, had darshan of Radha Govinda? Guru I said, no. That first Brahma went back <laughs> to Krishna, and this one is a replacement Brahma. Therefore, <coughs> Krishna's pastimes are most astonishing. Even they astonishing him. Even Krishna becomes astonished by his own activities. What to speak of Jagadguru Brahmaji. Uh, just before you go, which, I, mean, I, don't, I never interrupt by that, which Brahma therefore are we talking about when we talk, when you're going on now? What Brahma should be our focus of meditation? <laughs> which Brahma Brahmaji says, Prabhupada said, sorry, all Brahmajis are not pure devotees. Some Brahmajis are expert in karma. It said if you follow Varnashram perfectly for a hundred births, you can take birth as Brahma. There were some Brahmas are like Karmakandis, some Brahmajis are Gyanis, but our Brahmaji we should think is pure devotee. So what Brahma am I meditating on is in our Brahma Sampradaya? That one who had Darshan of Krishna in the beginning of creation. And how many headed Brahmas is this one? Four. Four. So but isn't that the Brahma of this universe? So that's our Brahma. And, we, and that Brahma is a pure devotee. So this universe is the smallest one created. Right. When Lord Narayan, when, sorry, Kurundaksai Vishnu exhales, <laughs> in the last breath, <laughs> that's our universe. And when he inhales, <laughs> the first breath he takes is our universe. Therefore, our mm. universe is considered the smallest. Therefore, this Brahma only has four heads. Therefore, what to speak, even Krishna becomes bewildered by his yoga maya, what to speak of his devotees headed by Lord Brahma. Therefore, four things cause forgetfulness of Krishna. Janma, Aishwarya, Sutasubi, Edamanya, Purman, Mada. Four things cause madness, material intoxication. How long are his breaths? For as long as the creation, one life of Lord Brahma. You get a calculator, you can work it out later. Three hundred years. So, yeah. <coughs> so, if you will take a few Christmases, three hundred trillion years. But a hundred of his years are his days, and then again a hundred of his years are his nights. Who's? Brahmas. hundred of whose years? Brahman years, bra years of Brahma. I've not heard that. I don't think no, you know. Your drive has not done Three hundred trillion years of like you Second candle. Okay. I just, I know again, the, the Brahma we've uh, Say all your questions for this. I know, and usually, okay, uh, just good. because the whole lecture is on Brahma, and I've always, all these 30 some years, focused. This Brahma is the guru of Narada Muni. This Brahma is the guru of the Kumaras. This is the Brahma that stole the cows. Yeah. This is that same Brahma that we read without, that's our Brahma Sankara. Right. Thank you. Yeah, we should see him as pure Vaishnava. 
So, what to speak of even Brahma becoming bewildered? Even Krishna becomes bewildered by his own activities. The activities of Yoga Maya are very difficult to understand even for Bhagavan. Therefore, the fact that Brahma can be bewildered is not an extraordinary thing because Bhagavan has a chinta shakti. He can make the impossible possible and the impossible possible. Therefore, generally we paint Brahma with a beard and white hair, but actually this is not a fact. The demigods headed by Brahma and Indra, Ganesh, etc. have five qualities which the ordinary jivas do not possess. Those five qualities, they are always in their sarup, they are never touched by old age disease. That even though we paint Brahma with a beard, still he is always Kishore. Even the demigods in the lower heavenly planets, even old age never touches them. What to speak of Lord Brahma? But so that we understand that that four-headed person is Brahma, the artist paint him with white beard, but actually he is always ever fresh. <clears throat> Therefore, four things cause confusion, bewilderment, janma, high birth. Therefore, who has the highest birth in this universe? Vishaji? Brahma. Brahmaji. Also, he is the highest birth because he is considered the first Brahman. Because he got Brahma Gayatri directly from the flute of Krishna. Therefore, he is the first Brahman. Therefore, Srila Bhavamaraj said, actually, because we all come from Lord Brahma, therefore, actually, by argument, all should be Brahmanas. Because we are all the sons of Lord Brahma, or daughters. But therefore, one is considered to be a Brahmana by birth and quality. Everyone has the potentiality to become a Brahmana. Yes? Um, if they never age or get old, then wouldn't they all be babies? <laughs> Instead, the women of the heavenly planets, they never become pregnant. They enjoy sexual life for thousands of years, and one day before they die, <laughs> they become pregnant, give birth to a 16-year-old child, that's probably why they die. <laughs> In the middle of that where, where is that stated? I've read it. Read Prabhupada it. said something different. What did he say? He said that they, uh, after 1,000 years, then they can become pregnant with one child. They live for 10,000 years, and after 1,000 years, they can become pregnant with one child. And I think any of my God brothers can confirm they've heard that. I've also heard the last day of their existence in the heavenly planets, then they give birth. No, we've never heard that. I can't. I've read it. I've read it. They're different, they're different. Where? Pran Govinda was telling me. <coughs> I can't remember the exact page number and the line number, but I've heard. Maybe I'm wrong, but that much I've heard. But there's no distress in the heavenly planets, no old age, what to speak of. Jagat Guru Brahma. Therefore, high birth becomes bewildered. It's one type of illusion, one type of bewilderment. One becomes proud. Therefore, Brahma has the highest birth. He is the original Brahma. One becomes proud. Who is your guru? My guru is Bhaktivedanta Swami My guru is Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj. But only Brahma can say, My guru is Jagat Guru Krishna. Therefore, that pride may come in someone. One may be bewildered by wealth. Therefore, who possesses the greatest wealth in the universe? No one can possess more than Lord Brahma. Any beauty in this material creation comes from where? Comes from Lord Brahma. Therefore, he has all type of beauty, opulence. And knowledge. It said even Gayatri and Saraswati are his, are his wives. If you could imagine how much knowledge he possesses <coughs> from the four mouths of Lord Brahma come the four Vedas. Therefore, he is the original chanter of all the Vedic hymns. There were all these four types of opulences he possesses. There an ordinary person this may cause some type of bewilderment. But we'll discuss that later. Therefore, <coughs> Krishna was about to perform his pastime of killing Agasura. Agam represents sinful activity. Thakur Bhakti Note says, each one of the demons dispatched by Krishna represent one type of anatta. Putana represents desire to be guru. Keshi represents pride. Agasura represents sinful activity, personified. Who else? Bakaso represents hypocrisy, duplicity. Pralambaso represents desire to kill the Guru and <laughs> desire to become a Guru. Therefore, each demon represents one fault that we all have, and by hearing pastimes of Krishna, one can overcome these obstacles. 
Therefore, in the morning, Krishna rose early. That was the day of Balaram's birthday. Therefore, Balaram did not come to the forest on the day of the bewilderment of Lord Brahma. So, hundreds and thousands of coward boys exited their house simultaneously and ran towards Krishna. That time it said that Krishna has a Sankhya cows, calves. A Sankhya means a one followed by 17 zeros. <laughs> so I was trying to work it out until my mathematics failed me. Nine zeros is a trillion. So what's a thousand trillions? Quadrillion. A Sankhya. That's 12. No? Plus six more. That means a million times quadrillion is a Sankhya. <laughs> Imagine having you shovel the Goshal after that. <laughs> Therefore, Krishna entered the forest with one billion, one, what did I say? One, one million quadrillion calves. One may think, that is completely <laughs> impossible. <laughs> but Sri Vishnu Chakravati Thakur says, even one grain of dust of Vrindavan is also all-pervading. Therefore, the Dham, which is non-different expansion than Krishna, also possesses unlimited potency. Therefore, billions and billions of universe. This universe measures in diameter 50,000 million miles. Therefore, one speck of the dust of Vrindavan can contain millions and millions of universes. What to speak of a simple number of one million quadrillion cows. <laughs> that this is all achieved by Krishna's a teacher if the dam should not, one offense to the dam is to try to measure. How big is Vrindavan? Oh, 32 square miles. Aparad. <laughs> Krishna is all pervading. Where does Krishna reside? Krishna himself takes shelter of the dam. Therefore, dam means ashray or shelter. The dam is so expansive it can contain even Krishna. What to speak of anything else? Never one offense to the dam is try to measure Vrindavan dam. Another fence, where is, in, where is Vrindavan? Oh, Vrindavan's in India. <coughs> Vrindavan's in Uttar Pradesh. Vrindavan's in the material world. This is also one other apparatus because Vrindavan has nothing to do with the material creation. In the Varaha Purana says, even when Bhagavan Mahavishnu destroys the whole creation, still Mathura Mandal, Navarvik Mandal remain unchanged because they're not part of this world. That is proved in 12th Kanto Bhagavatam. Markandeya Rishi, who had been destined to die on his 16th birthday, how old are you, Madhu? 17. But by his worship of Lord Shiva, he was saved. Lord Shiva blessed him, I bless you, you will live for seven kalpas. Therefore, when he had darshan of Narayan Rishi, they said, what benediction you want? He said, I want to see your maya. Why? We cannot understand the grave desires of the devotees. Therefore, when the universe destroyed, he was not destroyed. He floated on the ocean of devastation. For millions and millions of years, he moved up and down on the waves until he saw one baby on a lotus leaf on an island. Which island was that? Sri Navadvita. Therefore, Bhagavatam gives proof. Vrindavan is not destroyed at the part of creation. It is considered like Bhagavan possessed of unlimited potencies. Therefore, one day Sri Gokasodas Babaji Maharaj, he was in Navadweep and one new Baba came, Baba, I have purchased a quarter acre of land just behind Kuradweep. <coughs> then Gokasodas Babaji Maharaj became astonished. My God, even all the wealth of the 14 worlds cannot purchase one grain of dust of Navadweep. <laughs> But you have managed to purchase a quarter of an acre? <laughs> and that Baba gave up his false pride. Jiva Goswami also won similar thing. At, there was a discussion in Agra, who is greater than Yamuna or the Ganga? Some were saying this, some were saying that. They could not come to a conclusion. They said, if you want to ask anyone, the greatest pundit on this earth pundit at the moment is Jiva Goswami. So Akbar said, you bring him here, he can answer the question. Then when Jiva goes from, he said, no, I cannot spend one day in Vrindavan, Chetra something else. If King Akbar can arrange to take me to Agra and bring me back on the same day, then I will come. Therefore, 
Akbar organized, you know, changing horses, changing horses, changing horses. What's that called in Coburn Co? Stagecoach. Stagecoach. Pony Express. Pony Express. And he's trying Coburn Co. Therefore, Jiva Goswami came, but he thought I should bring a gift for the king. What did he do? He took some dust from Sevakunj and wrapped it in a cloth. <laughs> he wrapped that cloth so it became like a basketball. When Jiva Goswami came, he offered that gift to the king. Jiva Goswami, he never even had a water pot. So renounced. Only dressed in cloth. And then everyone was astonished what type of gift a renunciant like Jiva Goswami will give the king of India. So we gave him this big ball. But Akbar was thinking maybe there's some jewels or some gold. He pulled open the ball and last was only some dust. <laughs> he began to become angry then, Jiva Gos then he remembered that oh, Jiva Goswami is not an ordinary person. Yesterday was Jiva Goswami's disappearance day. Thank you, baby. <laughs> then Jiva Goswami explained, King, is there anything more valuable than the dust of Vrindavan Dove? There, even Krishna eats that dust to show such a valuable thing. Therefore, the fact that Vrindavan can accommodate very easily one million quadrillion cows is not a matter for astonishing. Therefore, hundreds of millions of boys, one billion, one million quadrillion calves, all came out, and Krishna went cow grazing. The boys used to perform their various lilas of sakuras. Each mother has cooked only for Krishna, and each boy has his lunch bag. Therefore, Krishna sitting like the whirl of a lotus, surrounded by those hundreds of millions of coward boys. Each boy has a desire, I will feed Krishna my foodstuffs. And Yoga Maya arranges that each boy sees Krishna only sitting directly in front of him. Those boys cannot understand there are millions of Krishnas. That is the working of Yoga Maharaja. They've been Govardhan. You see, I asked Gurudev, how many Manjaris in some following Rupa Goswami? Billions and billions. Therefore, maybe we have a desire to do a particular seva to Radhika. Then how we get that chance? Gurudev said, no problem. Yoga Maya making every way. So, all those boys were taking lunch. And each boy was, oh, this one is very good, and pushing the remnants in the, heart, in the mouth of Krishna. The Vrindavan, above Vrindavan, all the demigods are watching the pastimes of Krishna. Therefore, Brahma became confused. What's going on? He saw that Krishna was taking the remnants of the coward boys. Also, Madhu Mangal, his lunch bag was about five times bigger than any other boy. One boy came behind Madhu Mangal covered his eyes, another boy pulled the tail off his dhoti. In order to save his dhoti falling down, Madhu dropped his lunch bag, caught hold of his dhoti, and the boys grabbed his bag. They're passing one the bag to one to another, and Madhu Mangal is running after his bag, <laughs> crying. The boys are taking out all the ladders and eating everything, and Madhu Mangal is saying, Don't you know I'll curse you? Give back my lunch bag. <laughs> They're taking lunch. Sometimes Krishna says, Oh, brother! The boys say, Oh, Krishna, I have a very nice sweet. Close your eyes, I'll put it in your mouth. When Krishna closes his mouth, the boy puts in a flower. <laughs> Therefore, many, many pastimes. Therefore, from the sky, Brahma is watching all this from his swan aeroplane. Brahma is thinking, What's happening? Therefore, sometimes I would play hide and seek. If Krishna would disappear, even for an instant, then those boys would begin weeping. Yugayatam namishena chakshusa prabhasayatam sunyayatam jagat saravam govinda merahim. If Krishna would disappear, even for a second, those boys would think Krishna has left us, and they would begin weeping. Sometimes the boys would have competition. Who will touch Krishna first? <laughs> Who will fulfill the desire of Krishna? Many, many different types of activities. Therefore, yogis, after millions of years of sitting in meditation, after thousands of births of practicing Astanga Yoga, 
the eightfold process of yoga, yam, niyam, following some rules and avoiding some things, dhyā, atyahara, pratyahara, sorry, removing the senses, controlling the senses, pranayam, drilling the perspiration, perspiration, what's it called, respiration, <laughs> dhyān, finally, concentrating their mind in one point, even after thousands of births, they cannot have darshan of Krishna. But still, they are unable to achieve even a particle of dust from the feet of Krishna. But those coward boys are what? Putting their feet on the head of Krishna. Take my lotus dust. Therefore, who can imagine the great fortune of the Brajalkisham, the residents of Vrindavan, they are playing, playing with Krishna face to face. Sukadev Goswami says, Satam Sukadev Goswami says, does anyone know that verse? Who can imagine the good fortune of the cowherd boys? Satyagatana. Even the yogis who are immersed in impersonal meditation, who have emerged with the non-differentiated demand, which is the bodily effulgence of Krishna. First one, they cannot imagine the good fortune of the coward boys. Dasya Gatanam Mayadara came up. Those who worship Krishna as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, they cannot imagine the good fortune of the coward boys. What to speak of those who are captured by the illusory energy? Because after millions of births of austerities, those boys have taken birth as the friends of Krishna. Therefore, at that time appeared a big demon. His name was Agasur. They said he was the brother of Putana. Putana, Agasur and Bakasur, all were brothers and sisters. Therefore, Kamsa was worried. His Vrindavan Mandal is like a Bermuda Triangle. Every demon, demon I send there never comes back. Putana, sorry, Sakatasur was the first to disappear. <clears throat> then Putana, Bakasur, then finally Krishna's Kamsa's dear friend Agasur said, I will do. <clears throat> Therefore he came to Vrindavan, disguised himself as a snake. <clears throat> Therefore, even though the demigods had drank the nectar of heaven, they were free from death, still they were fear afraid of Agasur, so powerful. They had prayed to Bhagawan for the death of Nara, the death of Agasur. Agasur, who had been sent by Kamsa, was the younger brother of Putana. Therefore Guru Mahal said, normally when a demon is killed by Bhagawan, he gets the punishment of Sayuja Mukti. Mm. Therefore Prabhupada used to say, why endeavor very hard for austerities to achieve liberation? One can achieve liberation just by hating Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> of course, not recommended for devotees. Therefore, Krishna did not give Agasura Mukti because Krishna has something in his possession which even other incarnations like Lord Ram do not possess. Krishna has the potency to give a superior destination to those who are killed by him. Therefore, Kamsa never got Sriyaja Mukti. Kamsa went to Vaikuntha. He got the same form as Krishna because he was always thinking of Krishna. Therefore, Pundarik, sorry, Pundrak. He was also saying, I am Bhagawan. He made himself into an imitation of Krishna. But because he was always thinking of Krishna, anyhow, Krishna had killed him but did not give him Sayyidja Mukti. He gave him a place in Vaikun. There were Agasur, because of his relationship with Putana, he developed too much interest in Krishna. <laughs> Putana had been offered a place as Datri, as a nursemaid in the. In the What's it called? Not Vaikuntha, Golok, Golok Vrindavan. Therefore she was a nursemaid to Krishna. Not in Braja Vrindavan, but in Golok Vrindavan. Therefore she had now become a pure devotee. Therefore, Agasu, because of his relationship with a pure devotee like Putana, he was also about to receive the mercy of Krishna. Therefore, we should not make offense to any jiva. Dhruva was an ordinary boy, but his stepmother made offense to him. Oh, fool, you want to be king? 
first take birth in my womb, then you can become king next birth. It means first you should die. Therefore she made offense to Juba, but at that time Juba was not a devotee. He was just a five-year-old boy. But afterwards when Juba became a pure devotee, Mahabhagavat, and that offense she made to Juba became Vaishnava Parai. As a result she was burned to ashes in the forest fire. Were, even though he was related to Putin, who was a demon, Putin had now become a pure devotee, therefore his heart had transformed. He was also attracted towards Krishna. Like Jagai Mada. Jagai Mada had performed every sinful activity together. But when Mahapu heard that Jagai had protected Nitinanda, when Madai went to beat him a second time, then Jagai said, don't beat him. What benefit is there in beating such an Abadut? Therefore, Mahapu embraced him. Oh, he has saved my Nitai. Therefore, he developed Krishna prayer. And Madai, because of his relationship with Jagai, his brother had now become a pure devotee. Therefore, that attraction to his brother also changed the heart of Madai. And he also surrendered to Mahapu and Nityananda. Therefore, attraction to Vaishnava cannot be underestimated. <laughs> so, so powerful. Yes, sir. So even somebody who's not a Vaishnava, if we make an offense... And he becomes a Vaishnava after. That's you make Vaishnava. Otherwise, why Bhagavan is going to have said to Prahlad, Oh, Prahlad... <clears throat> Actually, it's not a good example, but the idea is there. Bhagavan is going to say, Prahlad, take a benediction. I want my father has made many offenses to you. He can be saved. Oh, Prahlad, he has already gone back to Godhead before Prahlad. <laughs> Because even though Hirani Kasipu did so many bad things to Prahlad, he did out of affection. He had so much affection for Prahlad. He said that when he took Prahlad on his lap, he would weep. Tears would come from his eyes. Anyhow, he was absorbed in thinking of Prahlad, therefore Bhagavan gave him mercy. He said if anyone becomes a Mahabhagavat, 21 generations are delivered. How? How you can deliver 21 generations of your ancestors? Because somehow someone has become a Vaishnava and they are related to him anyhow by some seva, by some relationship. Therefore the mercy of Bhagavan also comes to them. Therefore Krishna now decided, I will give mercy to, Agas, to Agasur. Therefore how Agasur, a demon, can enter Vrindavan? Krishna enabled, called his Yodamaya, she immediately arranged. Agasur thought, if somehow I can kill Krishna and his devotees, then I will offer their bodies as Pinda, for my departed brother and sister. Just like the gopis said to Udav, <clears throat> Oh, why has Krishna sent Udav? Now comes his dad, there is no more family members, therefore he's come to take the hearts of the gopis as a pinder. Therefore, Agastha was, was thinking, in order to revenge my brother and sister, I will also come and finish them. <coughs> then, <clears throat> If I can kill Krishna and his associates, then the other residents of Vrindavan will also die in separation. If there is no life, there is no body. Therefore, Krishna is the life and soul of all. If I can kill him automatically, I will finish the rest of the Buddhavasas. Therefore, Agasur, who is very crooked by nature, but somehow by the mercy of the Vaishnavas, he had developed attraction to Krishna anyhow. He took the form of a huge snake, python. As thick as a mountain, how long was he, Jai? Eight huh. miles long. Oh, okay. He opened his mouth, spread his tongue out like a red carpet, <laughs> and was waiting for Krishna and his friends to come along the road. The red carpet trip. <laughs> his lower lip rested on the, on the ground, his high upper lip re went, reached up to the clouds, does his mouth look like a huge mountain cave? The wind was coming, breath was coming like wind, and there was a bad fishy smell. His eyes blazed like fire. <coughs> Thus, Krishna was taking lunch with his friends, so that the boys went inside the mouth. The boys saw the mouth of Agasur and thought it looks like a snake. But who has ever heard of an eight mile long snake? Therefore it must be the mouth of a cave. Therefore those boys entered on the tongue of Agasur. Agasur took his tongue in like a... What do you call those moving elevators? Yes. 
Like the ones that go flat on the ground? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm, oh. I'm moving stairway, yeah. <laughs> like a moving stairway, he <laughs> took his tongue into his mouth, all the boys he took into his heart. Actually, a moving finished. walkway. Then. Moving walkway. <laughs> Therefore, Agasura's breath was so bad, those boys had all appeared like they were dead, unconscious. Oh. Therefore, Krishna had thought, somehow Agasura has taken my devotees in the core of the heart. Therefore, where is Krishna? We say, Krishna said to Mar, Krishna did the pare to Mar, Sakatiyachi. Amitu Kangal, Krishna, Krishna, Bodhidaita, Vapachi Pachi. We sing every day, but not thinking. Krishna also follows behind his Vaishnavas. We say, Oh Vaishnava, I am following behind you because you have Krishna. Because Krishna also follows behind his Vaishnavas. In one verse in Bhagavatam, it says, that Krishna knows that the food dust of my Vaishnavas are so powerful it can purify the whole universe. Brahmanda Tadita Shakti Dalajanijani. Well, the food dust of one Vaishnava can purify the whole world, and Krishna thinks inside my body is how many millions and millions of universes. Therefore, Krishna takes, follows behind the Vaishnava, collecting their food dust, putting on himself, and thinks, I will purify the material creation within me by the food dust of my Vaishnavas. Therefore, Krishna also follows behind the Vaishnavas. Therefore, Agasura took all the Brijabhasis in his heart, inside him, and Krishna thought, oh, he's made a step in the right direction. We know that Kali had made a mistake of just taking Krishna. Therefore, Krishna did not give him prema. Krishna tandav gati mandan paranaj di hari pam 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 He danced on the head of Kaliya, smashed into the ground, but he never gave him prema. Otherwise, why Krishna sent him outside of Vrindavan, go to Fiji and stay there? The Prema Bhakti he did not get. Guru Mahārāj says, why? Because he surrendered. But he surrendered out of fear. If I don't surrender, Krishna is going to finish me. Therefore, no question of Prema Bhakti for Kaliya. Because he only took Krishna, no devotee. But Agasura, he did not do like that. Two snakes, different destinations. <laughs> Kaliya made the mistake of only taking Krishna. Therefore, no Prema Bhakti and kicked outside of Vrindavan. But another snake, Agasura, what did he do? First he took the Vaishnavas in his heart. And whenever the Vaishnava is there, if our heart has a place for Guru Vaishnava, then definitely one day your heart will have a place for Bhagavan. Mm. That is the difference. Krishna said, Yetamad Bhakti Tatejana, Nantamad Bhakti Tatejana. One who calls himself my devotee, he is not my devotee. One who calls himself a servant of my servant, he is my devotee. They were either so he took shelter first of the Vaishnavas. Then Krishna also followed behind him. Then the boys fell unconscious. Then Krishna was thinking, what to do? Then Krishna is so much attached to the bridge Vasi, he cannot bear their separation. Therefore Krishna also entered into the mouth of Agasur. When Agas when Krishna entered the mouth of Agasur, the demigods headed by Brahma cried, Alas, alas! But the other demons were rubbing their hands. You little beauty. <laughs> Thus, when Krishna heard the cries of the demigods, help us, save us. When Krishna saw the destination of his friends, then Krishna had decided within himself, oh, I must save my associates. Therefore, he began to expand in the back of the throat of Agasura. <clears throat> he increased his size, but Agasura also began to puff up but he could not puff himself up as much as Krishna. Therefore, Krishna blocked the what's it called? The throat. He could not breathe in, he could not breathe out. The snake has no ears or no eye. <laughs> Where the life air will go, therefore the life air popped out the top of his skull. That is called the Brahma Everyone has a Brahma Rudra. If you feel little babies when they're born. <laughs> The top of their skull is that soft, squishy hole. Mm -hmm. That's the Brahma Rudra. But as the skull hardens and thickens, that becomes covered. Perfected yogis have that ability to live through the Brahma Rudra. It said the living entity, Vedanta Sutra, discusses the path of the soul at the time of death. There are nine different gates the soul can depart from. If the soul departs through the back, <laughs> the bottom two gates, the genital erected, not a good destination. It said Elvis Presley, he died on the throne. <laughs> In Australia we call the toilet the throne room. 
that the king died on the throne. Never when he died, where he, how he left his body must have left, going down. The Bible prophet said, when he lose, leaves through the bottom two gates, the genital or the rectum, they take birth as demons. Hell, hellish planet. Someone who leaves through the eyes or the mouth, then, okay, destination, but not so great. Like there was one brahmacharya in Mathura, he died a few years ago. He died with his mouth. Guru Maharaj said, okay, destination, but not perfect. Because perfect sound relief through. Yeah. But Vaishnavas, we don't even do that. No need even for that. Soul directly goes to Krishna. So, like a perfected yogi, so I shouldn't say that. Perfected yogis, Sadhu, Vaishnavas also live through the top of their head, possibly. Like Grandfather Vishnu. He also lived through the, what's it called, the Brahma? Mm -hmm. Mantra. So, Normally a demon, what's the chance that he will live like a perfected yogi? But what is the perfection of yoga? Sukadev Goswami says, Antevas Sankhi Yoga Bhyam Swadharma Paramistaya Janma Pumsam Parulabhya Ante Narayana Smriti O Pariksit, perfection of Dharma, perfection of Vanarashram, perfection of yoga, perfection of meditation, perfection of anyone who's taken a birth is what? Ante Narayana Smriti the time of death is to think of Krishna. Agasura, he not only thought of Krishna, he had Krishna inside him. <laughs> so where is the question of him having an inauspicious destination? Therefore, the demon's life there could not go anywhere else. Therefore, popped out from the top of his skull. Should have Gorgamaj, his grandfather lived like that. Mm. They said he asked, what day is today? They said, one good day, I cannot remember. He said, oh, today is a very auspicious day. The temple of Jagannath is open. Therefore, today I will die. They were thinking how possible he was very healthy. They received goodbye to all his friends and relatives. He sat in meditation and popped out at the top of his skull. Gorgamaj's grandfather said he was also one Mahapurush. Therefore, <clears throat> Krishna glanced at the boys. By his nectar-filling glance, they came alive. They came out, Then the boys were thinking, how could Krishna kill such a big snake by himself? Therefore, he could not do without our help. Therefore, the boys began beating the dead carcass of Anasur. We have also killed him. Don't think you did by yourself. Therefore, Mukunda, only Mukunda can give liberation. No other demigod can give liberation. Even Brahman Shiva cannot give liberation. It's true, they say Shiva gives liberation, but how does he give liberation? If you die in Varanasi, he comes to your ear at the time of death and chance, Ram. Therefore, he can only give a liberation by the mercy of wow. the name of the Lord. If only Krishna is called Mukunda because only he can give liberation, Mukti. That song that Madhukha sang by Jahore Mana, that was written by Govinda Das Kaviraj, that was the brother of Krishna Das Kaviraj. Hmm. Krishna Das Kaviraj was always preaching, Brother, <coughs> chant the name of Krishna. Worship Krishna. No, I will not worship Krishna. I will worship Kali. He became very sick. Kaviraj Goswami said, Brother, ask your mother, Kali, can she give you liberation? They were just before his death, he meditated. Mother Kali came in his vision. Oh, Mother, give me liberation. She said, I cannot give you liberation. Only Mukunda can give liberation. Only Krishna. Then he came to his senses and he wrote that song. Baja Hurei Mana, Srinanda Nandana, Abhaya Chalamara. Therefore, Krishna gave life again to the boys. They came out of the snake. They came out of the mouth of sin personified. Who is that? That is also like us. Krishna's most glance in this world is? Who, Madhu? Thank you. Guru <laughs> Vaishnava. <laughs> Krishna's most glance in this world is Guru Devan Vaishnava. So like Krishna's glance, took the boys out of the mouth of sinful life. For the mercy of Vaishnava, one can also be delivered from attraction to sinful life. Then, the boys came out, and the soul of Agasura was hovering in the sky. Can I have a watch? Can I borrow your watch? Mm -hmm. Agasura was waiting when Krishna will come. As Krishna exited the mouth, 
Then the soul of Agasura, like a meteor going into the sun, streaked into the feet of Krishna. At that time, the demigods became astonished. They said, how rare to get liberation. Even Mukti, how rare. Sanatana Goswami describes in Brihad Bhagavatam Rita that one day, Gopakuma, who had become Lord Brahma by that stage, all the personified Vedas and Upanishads and Puranas were discussing, oh, did you hear what happened? What happened? Gopakuma said, what happened? Someone just got liberation on the earth planet. No, it's impossible. How rare, how fortunate. So even Mukti is so rare. Even the Vedas were astonished when anyone achieved liberation. Therefore, when the demigods saw that even a big fat demon like Agasur had achieved liberation, they were throwing flowers and chanting, Jai Ho, Jai Ho. When they saw that Krishna had also come out of the mouth, they became, whew, that was close. In this way, everyone on the heaven and earth began glorifying Krishna. Lord Brahma also heard the sound of the drums and the chanting of Jai Ho. He came to see that when he saw everyone glorifying Krishna, even Brahma became astonished. Therefore, Brahma became bewildered. Now, this is a little interesting thing. Guru Mahesh says Brahma never became bewildered. He had agreed to see more pastimes. Srila Gauru said Brahma became bewildered. What's going on? And Bhagavatam also gives a little more on that side. That Brahma became a little bit confused. Why? Brahma was thinking. It says here, Yagya Book. Brahma was thinking, who is Krishna? How the soul could enter in the feet of, the soul of a big demon could enter the feet of Krishna? How Krishna could give liberation? Meanwhile, Krishna went back to the lunch with the coward boys. Therefore, Brahma, in order to test Krishna, or you may think, in order to see more pastimes, then Krishna, then Brahmaji stole the calves and the, the calves belonging to Krishna. Guru Maharaj also says, Brahmaji's offense, if we say offense, why was his offense? Because he was trying to make more pastimes of Krishna by his own effort. Understand? He did not wait for the mercy of Krishna to reveal more pastimes. He was trying by his own effort to little stoke the fire. Therefore, Brahmaji took the empirical sort path of achieving knowledge by achieving Krishna by one's own sense perception. Therefore, that was the mistake of Brahma. Instead of wanting, trying to create the pastimes by his own efforts, he should have waited and he would have seen everything by the mercy of Krishna. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So, what about that pastime? How would you have seen that pastime? Yeah, that would be missing from the pastime. But there's no question of Krishna never performing pastimes. <laughs> he said, even the pastimes Mahaprabhu performs in one hour cannot be aptly described by an Antashesh. So, where is the question of what Brahma wanted to see pastimes? Krishna is Lila Moi, Lila Purushottam. Every second he performs millions of pastimes. The pastimes of Krishna making new cowherd boy, this is not so much astonishing pastimes, because this is full of the opulence of Krishna. And then how would all the um, cowherd women and the cows have Krishna's? Don't jump coming to that bit. <laughs> but this is not so much an astonishing pastime. This is Krishna's opulence. For Bhagavan to manifest new boys and girls is not an astonishing thing. But for Krishna to be captured by the love of Bridge Basi, this is more astonishing. Therefore Brahma had his wish fulfilled, but that pastime was full of opulence not full of sweetness, that he would have experienced if he just watched Krishna's pastimes unfold during the natural occurrence. What time do we finish? Yeah, when you're done. <laughs> when, you're just, when, when do you get tired? Huh? When do you get tired? When I see the audience, none of them are awake yet. You can still have a with that. So, <laughs> Brahmaji tried to use his own vast knowledge in order to be a little encouraged the flow of Krishna's pastimes. Therefore, Brahma took shelter of the empirical path of knowledge. Therefore, Krishna wanted to correct that thing. Many, many ways of looking at a pastime. Sometimes people say, well, Prabhupada said that. Some people say, well, my Guru has said that. Well, my Vaishnava said that. Then they make conflict. But the pastimes are like jewels. 
like a diamond. How many facets on one diamond? Hundreds. Therefore, Guru Mahārāj, don't think that when one Vaishnava says something and another Vaishnava says something else, it doesn't mean they're contradicting each other. He is right. He is also right. It depends on angle of vision. If a Bhagavatam says, cannot learn everything from one guru, <laughs> cannot learn everything from one guru. Hearing, 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 then we can get an all-round picture of the Bhagavatam. Oh, wow. Jai Krishna. Jai. Therefore, Krishna, as he was taking lunch with the boys, Brahmaji took advantage, he stole the calves. The boys were distressed, we cannot find the calves. Devo Krishna said, wait here, take lunch. I will search for them. How much kindness Krishna, he takes all distress for his, on behalf of his devotees. As Krishna went away looking for the boys, Brahmaji took the advantage and stole the boys as well. Therefore, when Krishna returned, there were neither calves, no boys. Therefore, Krishna was standing, looking, crying. My friends, my calves. What will my father say when I return home with no friends and no calves? Krishna became a little sad for a moment, a little weeping. Then Brahma was watching this. Krishna had five different types of pickles. Chili, mango, lemon. And he was eating, he said, with his left hand. Who eats with their left hand? And he said, What to do with your left hand? I don't have to go into details. <laughs> Brahma was watching. Therefore, he was thinking, who is this coward boy? He obviously has no good manners, no culture, because he's eating with the wrong hand. Also, one should not eat when one moves here and there. Only cows and dogs eat standing up. Therefore, Brahman was thinking, he's gone moving with his lunch in his hands. What's your name, sir? Jagad Bharata. I saw your name on his cell phone. Therefore, Brahman was confusing. Brahmaji said, he is this one. Bhuvujay Yagya Bhuk Balakel. Normally Narayan is called Yagya Purush. Bhagavan takes the offerings of Yagya. So who does a Yagya? Brahman does a Yagya. When the Brahmins they take bath three times, they're purified inside and outside by mantra, <clears throat> wearing fresh cloth with tilak and everything. Then they're chanting the mantra in the correct, correct pronunciation. They offer ghee into the sacrificial fire of Narayan, who is Yagya Book. If a Bhagavan only takes the offerings of Yagya, but Narayan is thinking, sorry, Lord Brahma is thinking, what type of Yagya Book is this? <laughs> also, that time is winter for the Brijbasis. They're taking bath every day, it's not guaranteed, <laughs> because Brindavan is very cold. Therefore, maybe some dirty, Krishna, little dirty. Some mucus is coming. Winter. He is also covered by dust of the cows. He is eating with his left hand. There is probably definitely some prashad here and there on his face. He is moving around, standing up. The Brahmin is offering Yagya by the mantra. But the cowboys, they don't offer any mantra. How are they offering into the mouth of Krishna? Pushing by force. This one is very good one, Krishna, eating. Pushing their remnants in the mouth of Yagya Bhuknarayan. Therefore, Brahma was confused. I'll read this. Krishna is Yagya book. He only takes the offerings of Yagya. But now, what is he doing? That same Bhagawan, with his flute tucked between his waist. We never heard of Narayan playing any flute. Lord Brahma cannot even imagine such a thing. Therefore, holding in his hand a nice preparation of yogurt and rice, with suitable pieces of chutney between his fingers, he is eating like that. Therefore, Brahma became a little confused. Before the appearance of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we had only heard of the opulence of the Supreme Lord. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave another thing. He gave what? The sweetness of the Lord. In Jagadama Thakur Bhaktivinoda explains. The Muslim brothers called Bhagawan Allah. Allah means the greatest. But why is Bhagawan the greatest? Not because he's the biggest or the fattest or the <laughs> or all pervading or no. Because he is the most beautiful, therefore he is the greatest. There were all the attractive features of the Supreme Lord, which is the most attractive. Beauty. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave all these meanings of the Bhagavatam. 
And the, those who are under the shelter of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they have extracted all these meanings in their commentaries. Therefore, Brahma cannot even imagine. This is the same Bhagavan. Therefore, some confusion at it. Or you wanted to see some pastimes as you like. Therefore, he stole the cowboys. Therefore, for a moment, Krishna was also bewildered. Where's my friends? Where are my calves? Krishna also began searching here and there. If Brahma was confused, then Brahma must have been even more confused. If he is Bhagawan, he must be all knowing. If he's all knowing, he must know that I have taken his boys, I have taken the calves. Bhagawan is all powerful. If he's all powerful, how I could steal his friends and calves? Therefore, Brahma was thinking more and more, more and more confused. Krishna began searching here and there for his friends as if he could not understand what had happened. He looked bewildered. Then Brahma, he went for one second back to his own universe. Oh, I forgot something. He thought I had bewildered Krishna, finished the pastimes of Vrindavan. Brahmaji went back to Brahmalok. There Krishna had already gone there. Krishna can take the form of Brahma, there is no harm. Krishna can take any form he likes, but any form cannot take the form of Krishna. There is a difference. Even Lord Krishna can show the form of Lord Ram, but Lord Ram cannot show the form of Krishna. You know Chichor Gopinath in Ramuna? That deity of Gopinath, that was carved by Ram himself. It said, Lord Ram saw Sita drawing on a stone, one man. Ram said, who is that? Why are you drawing the picture of another man? And Siddha began laughing. I don't know why, but my mind is captured by this fellow, <laughs> Gopinath. And Ram said, I am that same Gopinath. And Siddha said, show me that form you'll take in the end of Dwapa Yuga. Ram said, I can't. <laughs> because Krishna has four qualities which are not present in Ram. Therefore Ram, he carved the deity of Gopinath with an arrow. But that deity is still there. He said, this is the form I will take in Dwapa Yuga. Therefore Krishna took the form of Brahma. The guards saluted him. Then Krishna as Brahma said, Be careful, there's one photocopy Brahma. He's coming soon. <laughs> one fake Brahma. <laughs> Don't let him in. I'll be inside look, taking care of the universe. And when Brahma came back to his... He came back, he expected the guards to give him the salute. But the guards, with a stick, get out of here before we give you a thrashing. Brahma said, You guys are going to get sacked. Who the hell do you think you are? They said, who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> Our boss inside, Lord Brahma, has said, be careful of a four-headed imitator. Then Brahma realized, it is not me. No one in this universe can bewilder me. Therefore, it must be Krishna. Krishna said, you wanted to take something from me? I'll take something from you. I'll take away everything you have. <laughs> the devil who can surrender to Krishna? In Bhagavatam it says, what's that verse? When Krishna gives mercy to anyone, what does he do? He takes away everything they have. Otherwise, how you can surrender to Krishna unless you're a kinchan, this kinchan. As long as you have some other support, some other affection, you cannot give your heart completely to Krishna. Identity, identity theft to Krishna. <laughs> Deva Krishna, he said, I had pride. The universe is mine. Krishna took it. I am pride. I am the original Guru. Krishna took that. <laughs> Brother had no way to hang his four helmets. Krishna had taken everything from him in one second. This is mercy of our Lord. Sunday thing, Gurudev Kripa Bindu Diya Koroi Dasi. Gurudev gives me a nice position, some wealth, some this. Guru Kripa Eva Kevala. The real Guru's Kripa, Bhagwan's mercy, is he takes away all your impediments. Impediments means material attachment. Therefore, Krishna took away everything from Brahma. Why Brahma is so dear to him? <laughs> Brahma is so dear to the Lord. Therefore, Brahma Kinshan. Even he hadn't taken his checkbook, nothing. He came back to Brindavan, a kinship, nothing. All his pride had been completely broken. Never he saw. What did he see? Krishna again doing Leela with his friends. Exactly like he had seen before. Brahma became confused. Am I dreaming? Maybe the boys escaped from the place where I hid them. He looked. The boys are there. The boys are there, therefore four heads came. Two heads were looking there. Two heads were looking there. Oh, I have not... These boys which are playing with Krishna, the calves, 
I have not created them. Because Brahma creates everything material in this world. Then Brahma began to realize, I have, these boys are not material because I have not created them. And what happened? Should we discuss tomorrow now? Keep going a little bit more. Therefore, Brahma had some realization this Vrindavan is non material. <laughs> I have not created, it is not coming from my Maya. Therefore, who has done? Then Krishna, he gave his mercy to Brahma. Therefore, Krishna, he is very kind, he always fulfills the desires of his devotees. It's said that Krishna has no desire, his only desire is to fulfill the desire of his Vaishnava devotees. Therefore, Krishna knew. In Vrindavan, only mother and Yasoda, Nanda and Yasoda, are not the only mothers and fathers of Krishna. Each elderly Gop and Gopi, they feel Krishna is my son, but they feel a lacking. If only I could give my breast milk directly to Krishna. But no chance. Therefore, all the millions and millions of elderly Gops and Gopis had a desire. Krishna will be my son. I want him to drink my breast milk. But no chance. Meanwhile, all the cows at Vrindavan, they also have Batsali Ras to Krishna. Parental mood to Krishna because they give their milk to Krishna. Therefore, they all feel, even the old bulls, they feel Krishna is my son. What to speak of the cows. Therefore, they all had a desire. I want Krishna not just milking me. I want Krishna to take milk directly from my breast. My teat. Is that a good one? Ada. <laughs> Therefore, with that desire was also unfulfilled. Also, all those young gopis also had a desire. Krishna will be my beloved. But no chance. Therefore, Krishna, one of Krishna's 64 qualities by one activity he can fulfill, perform many other activities. Wow. Therefore by this Brahma Mohan Lila, Krishna fulfilled the desire of all. He took himself, had taken the form of all the coward boys. He himself had taken the form of all the calves. Therefore he had drank in the milk of millions and millions of cows, millions and millions of mothers. And that year Gargarishi had said, this year is a very good year, everyone will get married. Therefore the gopis were paired off with different gopas. Who were those gopas? Krishna himself. Therefore with one swoop, Krishna fulfilled the desire of every single big blessing. Brahma came. What did he see? The same scene. He became confused. What has happened? Krishna showed each of those boys, each of those sticks, each of those calves, their lunch bags, their dress, their ornament is nothing else but Krishna. Therefore he manifested his form as Vishnu. Because who is this today of Lord Brahma? Gavadaksaya Vishnu. Because he was always thinking of Gavadaksaya Vishnu. Therefore it says Bhagavan always shows you that form you want to see. Therefore Brahma, Krishna showed his form as forearm Vishnu. Mm. There Brahma became completely confused. He became dumbstruck. All his senses ceased working. His intelligence was checked. He fell to the ground and the prayers that he'd offered we'll discuss tomorrow night. Forty prayers of Lord Brahma. Therefore, Brahma offers such nice Tapu Siddhanta in his prayers. And finally, towards the end of his prayers, very high class of desire he had, and how that desire of Lord Brahma was fulfilled. And we'll discuss all those things tomorrow night. And also come with the appearance of Haridas Thakur. This is also connected in this past time. So are there any questions? What book is the 10th Canto by what? Oh. Commentary. Oh yeah, that's Shri Vishnu. And that, yeah. No questions? Madhu, where's your mother Whose baby is that?